Hey, hello there everyone on YouTube. Welcome to another episode here on this uh, dwarf campaign. Now, could actually recruit some dwarves there. But no, for now I'm getting good, you know, getting good change here, getting some good public order, that which is fine. Getting some more money, so that's cool. And I'll still get more growth even, so that's cool. So Nick Messer, what do you like the most regarding Attila, mate? By the way, for everyone on YouTube, of course, I'm speaking to people on the, on the stream. Okay, more technology, some more followers, trinket, I'm earning money. Okay, so what should I be doing? The Dwarf Brewery actually helps a lot. Yeah. So, growing, it will take mm, 8 turns. So, I could get this for more growth. But this this gives me just so much growth that it's amazing. I should be building these up, honestly. I cannot recruit anything there. That, that's fine. I stand defiant. This guy... Oh, I can get some more armor. This isn't runesmith, so no. Ability. More charge bonus. Now, I would like that for the guys that actually have to move in. Okay, so what can you do? I already give you this, an inquiring mind. Let me see what else is over here. Master Rune, own army, awareness. Okay, so I think I'm going to go for this one, because it allows deploy on foreign province. That's good. I actually need that. Yeah, right now it's working. I can tell you that I don't like it. It's the huge loading times in Attila. Quite true, mate. Um, it's something that they aren't really able to change too much, but it's kind of bad, you know, when, when it doesn't happen. Now, it might sound silly here, but I'm still not recruiting anything. And I'm actually going more for income stuff. You know? Could get some dwarves stuff. So I think getting the ancestral tombs is actually quite important right now. So to avoid any corruption that might happen, you know, in the future. You know, just get that out of the way, let's say, in a sort of kind of command way. Uh, still can upgrade this guy. Now he's certainly a good one to have the champion there. Uh, defender? Well, why not? I need to go for the champion. So this guy is probably going to be um, someone to defend the place. You know, someone to have... I, I want this guy to be with this guy to provide more experience, you know. So that's that's the idea there, so... Let me check diplomacy. These guys are really hating me. How about this guy? Do you want a confederation? I have to check that out for some time. These guys are at war with a lot of guys, so that's fine. Cannot trade with anyone. Kind of bad. So far, it's cool. But for instance, what do you, what faction do you actually prefer, um, Nick Master? I didn't play too much on Attila. I actually have been wanting to, to play a little bit more. Okay, population surplus on the vaults, and I can actually get this. Good. So let me just check one thing on the Belgian browser. So I, I one, two buildings, three, four, five. That would kind of be it. Or this for the hammers and for the iron breakers. Charge defense against all. Yeah, I think this would be the best one. So hollow vaults. So one, two, three additional places to build. One, two, three. Exactly. That's exactly what I want. So this, if I upgrade this keep, it's going to be only to get better units, which I still have something else to do. Now if I build this, I'll be able to start building up the garrison there. Or, I'm, or over here I could start building something else, but you know, no need for that for now. No need for that for now. Yeah. This is going well under public order. Events minus five. I wish I w would know. Hmm. Need to defeat some armies from, from green skins, you know. 
could go over there. This is plus one percent. That will change in a couple of turns as soon as I have that one. I know this is a lot of staying back for now, but it's kind of what I need. It's kind of what I need. Province surplus here on Carrick Iser. It's cool, I can build the clan barracks, or I can go over here and build something better. Yeah, let's go for the dwarf brewery. Why not? And I can still build a hunting camp. This provide more furs. Or the dwarf tinkers. Let's go for, you know, decent money what there. This guy. I want the overseer for the aura. No, he already has a good aura. I think I'm gonna go for the Ancestral Grudge there. There we go. He's deployed. This guy is deployed. So let me check on the provinces for now. It's growing. Public order is stabilizing. Stabilizing. Getting some money. That is excellent, actually. Excellent news. Can I... Oh, This guy doesn't like that I have treaties with the Border Princes, of course. You may speak before... Yeah, but I kinda need those. They're, they're getting me some money. So it's quite strange. Your character is positioned rather oddly. <laughs> Thank you, Willem, for letting me know. Uh, I'll explain that by positioning it even weirder. So I'm just going to take it away. Bear with me. And here is the explanation. Okay, let me see if I can focus. Hello, Arya. The cat just puts puts herself over the, you know, over the, the cable. So that's what, what causes it. So right now, much better. Thank you very much for letting me know, Willem. <laughs> Basically, it's impossible for me to always keep that in mind, you know. It just happens randomly. She just goes and plays with the camera. Sometimes it's with the, mou it's with the mouse, but that I can notice immediately. So thanks a lot, man. <laughs> and yeah, blame the cat, you know. <laughs> and nah, she, she's cute. She's really cute. <laughs> she's, she's yawning there. Okay, what do you want? You want me to join war and now you'll pay me. Hmm. Now, if I could only see who th who is at war as, as well with the with the vampires, I would accept it. Like, to gain better, they would never get to, to attack me, you know, they're too far away. So I could have that war for diplomacy uh, factors. So let me just see here. Like, are these guys at war? No, these guys... They are at war with Beastmen. War Beastmen. Only at w only trading with Averland. These guys are with against the, the Vampire Counts. This is only against me. Yeah, so, so far it doesn't seem like I gain anything else from that. Let's see if I can get any trade agreements. I already have everything that I can. Oh... By the way, guys, you know, just this cutie is just licking me. What do you want, cutie? Hmm? What do you want? Come on, go play. Yeah, the cat is sleeping, but you can wake him up. Sorry about that. She was just, you know, licking my wounds of battle. I still don't think I need the barracks. You know, since I'm not recruiting, I'm gonna avoid that as as much as I can. Let's see over here. Oh, I can get the garrison there on Zarkil. Certainly want that. Yeah, certainly want this. And I want the granary. Perfect. So more growth overall. That's perfect. And this guy is going to get the enchanted shield and that ability. And a talisman. No, that belongs to him. You can get more research rate. Well, actually, let me give him the skills. He already has the deadly onslaught. Let's go for Woundmaker. Um, and let's see who can actually have the best stuff. Can get this guy. So he's a master engineer. Why not getting more research out of him? You know. So that's cool. That's decent. Lots of research. So this guy, these guys can actually get a lot of research done fast. Now, it's not like I can recruit a lot of units so far, 
but I'll be able to with just one more building, which is the Rangers. And for that, I just need to grow. Yep, yeah, I'm getting more public order. That's nice. Everything seems to be fine for now. Yep. Kind of a slow episode, this one. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But... Oh, here comes another army, so... That is good. Confederation there. One tribe has been destroyed, that is perfect. Peace negotiated, that helps out. Hopefully they will go for peace with me as well now. Or a non-aggression non non pact. They're rejected, but it's closer. It's closer now. Greetings, Kinnaman. Okay, so Carrick Norn. Well, I'm gonna save the money because I don't know what's going on coming in from that place. Lord of the I'd rather eat a squeak. That's a good army. I might be able to just recruit some regiments here and there. Uh, can actually move an ambush. I think so. Karak Isaac can survive for one turn, I believe. So, can I build anything important? Not there, but I can build something important here. So that will be a Dwarf Twinkers, and I can still recruit one unit. That's perfect, actually. Should I recruit it right now? Yeah, well, they might attack me, so yes. This guy... kinda need him to go there. So yeah, I know that the public order is gonna be reduced. But it's fine. There we go. Perfect. I'm getting the garrison there, which is awesome. And this guy is suffering because they are fighting against each other. <laughs> That's so perfect for me. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. Let's have a battle, finally. It's been a slow campaign. Okay, there's some stuff happening there on Weissenberg, so let's see what happens. Okay, they are attacking Karak Iser. What is the garrison there? It's still a decent one. Could even defeat that. No, I cannot move there unless I go in Force March. There we go. There we go. War declared between the Border Princes and those. And if I attack here, will I get the reinforcements? Let me Let see. Yep. This. Get the reinforcements. Ready. Let me actually just move closer to make sure. <laughs> the, this guy... Well, I'll only need them there. So, stuff here. Yeah, I'm gonna need this watch room. Not yet. Over here I can build a hunting camp. Perfectly. Can you give me your take on leveling lords and heroes? Okay, so... It's... it's It depends for each campaign. Like, there's so many variables that you have to rely on. So basically, here's what I usually do. If you're having problems on the overall campaign map action, just make sure that you get anything that you can from here. Like, I only got this because I was having a lot of problems with the money. It helped to get one or other capital settlement before that. Overall, I like stuff that it fits lots of stuff, okay? So, either you can build them as a good killer, and you use them to get as much damage as you can, um, you know, or you can get them to be like a good, uh, a good uh, overall general in battle. So, for instance, on this Lord, I like this idea of going with Inspiring Presence, of going with Tactical Acumen, more damage for the Ranger units. I can get more. I still haven't managed to get more, but I want to in the future. And at least the Rally Ability, just to make sure that you survive for a long time. Um, Root Marsh is really kind of necessary, and I kind of want the Lightning Strike as fast as possible to allow going with just one army, because you can't have, with this campaign, you can't have the... you know, you can't have a second army really fast. It will just hin hinder your um, your income. You can have it, or if you don't go for a second army, then I uh, strongly suggest going as I am going, for the lightning strike here. Now, on the on these guys, I just recommend giving them anything that allows them to shine 
on their on what already is their their strong uh, uh, situation. So let's go for the master engineer, for instance. Don't care too much about this. This is all stuff that provides bonuses on the overall. Perfect. And in terms of skills, I'm actually going for anything that allows a buff on the missile units. So what I do. Yeah, Lightning Strike really takes away from the epicness of the game. I would prefer if it were a chance. Chance to avoid that. That would be better. But still, it's something that, you know, kind of kind of has to exist as well. It's quite OP, but there should be always something for, for that. I wish, like, if he had... The, if the other uh, allies... Uh, if the other allies would, um, if the other, sorry, if the AI had lightning strike, they could evade that. That would be an offset, you know, but unfortunately no. I really like you buffing the range units. Nobody does it. Well, I'm doing that, as you can see here. It's a combination with the master engineer. He's always with the army. So the rangers just do a lot of damage before, specifically. Um, this range, I believe it's only for him. So that's why I didn't go for it. Uh, this is for ammunition, which is really not that important, honestly. I would put just one more or something like that. I like the Master of Works because sometimes it's like that. After I finish a, a battle, specifically conquering a settlement, I will just take the siege engineer, the engineer away, and deploy him. And suddenly, minus 20% construction costs. So that's also something that you might. Uh, uh, think about. For instance, all of this is against the the enemy armies. Like reduction in corruption, it's not necessary in the beginning. Uh, you know, this is interesting. If I would go to acquire inquiring mind, I would probably get like prospector and Carrick blood. You know, because you need four to get inquiring mind. So then again, you have two things. One of them has bonuses versus large, and the other one doesn't. Let me see. So he just has more weapon strength. So I decided to go with the guy that has the most, the bonuses versus large, I decided to go with him to make him the killer. You know, I want him to, to kill some units. While the other one is actually getting prepared to be the, uh, he's already inspirational, so less recruitment costs, and I want him to be with Exemplar and Drill Master. To make sure that this guy gets, you know, gets um, that he's good providing experience for my units in the future. So I'm thinking on, like, I'm going to get this guy, recruit a lot of units with him, uh, make a very strong army, and that army will gain experience while reaching uh, Karakate Peaks. That's that's the overall plan. Um, so that was my idea. The rune guy, I don't really have a good idea on what to do with them, because I don't have a lot of experience with the runes themselves. Uh, but I've gone with... let me see... Yeah, I've gone with growth, because in the beginning, growth takes away some buildings. So I thought, if I have this guy with the growth, then I don't need as much growth buildings. Do you, do you get the idea? I also thought that he already had good abilities with these two runes to provide buffs. I still haven't gone for this. This is to attack the enemy. Honestly, why haven't I gone with that? I don't believe I have enough uh, time to do everything during the battle. I already have a lot of abilities. But, of course, you could always go for these runes that will provide a lot of bonuses for you. You know, This is also a very good one to reach. So yeah, basic, basically that's that's what I'm thinking. I wanted the inquiring mind as well on at least one guy, so I thought why not? And he's now a good one to provide runic protection as well, so that's cool. Right, hope that uh, that is explained as well. By the way, the runesmith, well, they're not new. Am I actually getting the corruption? No, I'm not. Um, what do wait? What do the blue runes do? So it's it, they call it runes, but not really runes. So they cause more public order. It's standard basic stuff for for your um, province. So I was having problems with public order because I didn't realize, like for instance, the buildings, the the province buildings do not provide public order. They provide growth and some income. So you really have problems with public order initially. I had a lot of rebellions until I reached this point. So this could help out in the beginning. 
the growth it's plus 36 that's a lot actually it helps a lot um, and you can see that my buildings are actually getting the uh, tech load what the and does the rune lord stack with the runesmith let me see yeah like the the runesmith uh, does provide a lot of bonuses but it, does it stack with the master engineer what the, or with the thane is that what you mentioned or not I didn't realize well, what we were referring to. Sorry. Um, right now I am actually losing some public order because of the presence of these guys, which will be away very soon. But hopefully he's going to go over to Karak. Booththar there, probably. So, And I kind of... Whatever he does, I can just take him away. Yeah, he's going over there. Maybe I can attack him, maybe not. So Grimhold already built some more stuff. I'm building a lot of stuff that ge gets more money. Can I kill them? I cannot. And they would be able to attack Karak Buftar kind of like immediately. They have some long beards and, and stuff, but it will be dangerous there. So here's what I'm going to do. Just going to go over here and hopefully I can intercept those. Oh! I can actually move there and that will help out. Hopefully. So this guy, yeah, I really want the Rot Room. Uh, like, they both have the same rune, except the Lord is strong, uh, stronger. But they stack. That's, if they stack, that's pretty crazy. Oh, let me see the runes from the Lord. I get it. Yeah, it does in terms of the reduction of corruption. But he doesn't have anything that provides, you know, that provides a bonus for growth. Unless you're referring to other lords, I still didn't recruit any secondary lords, so I don't know what the other blue ones go for. Uh, of course, you can always... this guy has e early access to Scott Veteran and Ancestral Grudge, so you can make this guy also a very good, you know, fighter. I just didn't feel I needed a good fighter with this guy. And he also has this, which allows him to already be a good fighter, and already be a good fighter overall. Though that... It's not that lot, it's a normal lot. Yeah, okay, I got that one. So it's probably stacking. Yeah, it's probably stacking. Uh, usually these things do stack. So I'm getting the garrison here. I really didn't want to, but I feel like it's going to be necessary. And I'm going to have the technology for the less corruption. Which I really need that one. So change per turn is 0 0.5. So we'd get less there. This one is getting good. I'm getting that one. Let me see in terms of diplomacy. What can I get? Trade. Can I get anything? Cannot. But let me see trade rights or something like that. I These guys want an aggression. They do not trust me. So not really. Where is actually Stirland? Do you want an aggression? I hope we can reject it. The Empire. Let's see if I can get that. Okay. Not really. So this guy had to stay here because of the, you know, the public order. So I have to build something here that will allow that public order to, you know, to avoid that public order. So so that I can take this guy away. But for now I'm not recruiting any units. So, you know, no need to take him away for now. Okay, Montfort was actually conquered there. He wants a military alliance. My take on military and defensive alliances. Defensive is kind of cool. Military, no. Military will just force you into a lot of fights, which you don't want to be in. Uh, not initially. In the end, kind of like to have a couple of them, but not in the early game, for sure. Okay, there we go. He's still moving over there to Karak Aizu. Can leave him be, actually. Could recruit this clan barracks here. It's still growing there, but I kind of want to go for this. You know, I'll grow here. I need the money. Could barely get that. So more 5% tax rate. Another reduction in corruption. That would be nice. More public order would be nice. kind of want to go for income here. From the toolmakers, that would be nice. Recruitment costs, more ammunition, leadership. I don't really need that, uh, this leadership for now. Reload time is actually quite interesting. If I go over there, that takes 4 plus 8. Or I can get Thane's Authority. 
No, nah, not really. This would provide more money. This would provide less corruption. And honestly, it's better less corruption than to get just one public order, you know? So let's go for the less corruption for now. Really want to see that. You know? Oh, I can get this, honestly. Public order. Should I? Like, if I get the public order here, let me think. If I get the public order here, I'll still... You know, that's the Master Engineer. I can take him away for bonuses. And I'll still be able to defend the, this place. And he's getting really hampered. So I would still des definitely be able to defend that place. I would actually move in, mo in normal march here to be able to defend everything. Yeah, so here's what I'm going to do. Look at this. Uh, let me first take this away. So this is why I like taking away like the Master Engineers, for instance. So I'm going to move him here. And by deploying the hero, gives me less construction costs. Minus 20%. Suddenly, this costs 2,100. That's perfect. That will give me three extra public order. Not do anything here. Can move these guys here. I can move them here, perhaps. Cannot ambush, so let me just stay there. If I go to, if I try to move there, well, I don't know, just move here. There we go. So that will get a garrison, that is perfect as well. Garrisons for me, the take is the least that you can get is the best. Like, don't try to get too many garrisons. Just get in the, try to get them in the specific places that you need. What brings you here? Still wants a military alliance. Let's decline that for now. I want to see if the vampire lords go to war with someone else, you know. Okay, this guy is, might have some damage there. Let's see what he, he did. He blocked my army. That was bad. Grudge issued. Okay, against the character of that guy. Let's see if I can kill someone. Honestly, this army is fairly easy to defeat. Ready. Yeah, look at that. I can still move in Force March and assist there. Right? Yeah. Still move there. Karakaiza does have a good army. Could almost defeat it, honestly. So, here's the deal. I have money. I cannot build anything interesting here. I can build this for Corollers. But I like to pref would prefer to build it here. I don't know. I'm gonna wait for the money because I need to grow. I need to grow. So that one has the the garrison already. So that means that these garrisons, that's a good garrison that works perfectly. That's cool. I stand defined. So my thane is he the best one to hit this guy? Forty percent. Thirty-five. Let me see the engineer. Thirty-five. So my thane is kind of like the best guy to do so. So let's try that, why not? Success and I gain the money. Okay, so he loses the movement points, of course. I can move this guy here. I cannot do that. Well, let's just gamble that if he tries to attack, my force is actually good enough to deal with that. Hopefully that will be the the trick, you know. Uh, would require 1,800 because it's not built up. So should I save the money? Yes, I certainly want to save the money for the upgrades here because it's going to grow next turn. So yeah. Hopefully they don't want to me. These guys want me to join that war. No, let's decline. Not yet, guys. They want military access and they want to demand that. Counter offer, we'll just go with this. They accept it. So I like the military access there, it gives me some vision. He retreated. Perfect. But I'm gonna have to pursue him. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there. Since I have military access, it's quite good. 
more weapon damage for all factions. That's nice. Population surplus there. So here's what I'm gonna do. This army can't attack there, but if I move here, I'll move down there. So that would be perfect. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I have a lot of money. I can upgrade these places. Let's beat the hero there. The master engineer, I'm actually going to leave with him, I think, for the construction costs. Or not, I don't know. Well, I'm going to go for this Dwarven Keep. Actually, no. I want this. Just so I can get the garrison there on Grimhold to make sure that it doesn't cause me problems. Or not. If I, sh if I go with this, I'll be able to recruit some other units. So yeah, let's go for that. And over here is fine. I'll still have the so money next turn. Died. Right. So exactly what I wanted. In the meantime, he's suffering severely. Moving out. So there we go. Kedekizer has minus 6 due to the corruption, minus 2. It's changing per turn a lot, but I'm going for more corruption, the diminishing. That's actually quite important right now. Diplomacy, so I didn't get any further trades, did I? I can get a war, can get a war coordination target. Like the green skins there. Okay, no, I don't want you to coordinate there. I want you to eliminate these guys. Yep. That's cool. Guys, thank you guys for watching on YouTube. Uh, that will be it for this episode. For you guys on the stream, don't go anywhere. I'll still continue for another half hour, another episode. Yep. So cheers guys on YouTube. Bye bye.